Here's you the flick, cigarette. You flick your ash out the window. Per this CVC code, you're not supposed to flick your ash out the window. That anybody can flip you off. This is 100% the First Amendment. Okay. As I will sit here and do it with my car running and driving past you as I did. I do it all the time. I do it to state troopers just to see if a mother going to be stupid enough to stop me for it. So there it is. Write me my ticket and let's get this stuff over with. I will do this all day long if I want to. Okay. You're not going to do it while you're right. Well, uh, right now. Do you want to write me a ticket for it? But I can. I don't no, care. no. Write me. I dare you to write me a ticket. License, insurance, registrations on the back. Write me a ticket. I'm waiting. Me a mother can I go in? You cannot get out of car. Okay, get let's go. Car. Get get this shit over with. Now, now Freedom of speech. You can't be a complaining party in a disorderly conduct. Hey folks, welcome back to our channel where we dive into the important topics of individual rights and community well-being. Today, we're going to explore a specific scenario involving law enforcement in public spaces, sparking a conversation about where our rights stand, the impact on the community, and how we can find a balance between personal freedoms and collective well-being. Join us as we unravel this scenario, shedding light on the dynamics between individual rights and the greater good. If you believe in defending civil rights, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with your friends and family. Your support can really make a difference in spreading awareness. And don't forget to head over to this channel to appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Links in the description. All right. Before going to the Commerce Police Department, you have your driver's license on you, please? What'd you stop me for? All right, I stopped you because when you drove by me back there, you stuck your middle finger up the whole time you was driving by me. You think I didn't see you? Yeah, I, I yeah. knew you seen me. What was that for? I mean, is it against the law? Is there a law it against that? It's a form of aggressive driving. You know, mm, the Georgia no, sir, statute not. of aggressive driving is? No, sir. You, you can't be uh, a complaining party in that. I can't be a complaining no, party sir, in you aggressive can't. driving? Where is no. that written in the statute? You want to get your... Uh, your supervisor, supervisor out here? just to let you know. You oh, know then I'm going to need somebody. No, I didn't see you. Didn't. This is who you get. So okay. If, if you want to tell it, me what the statute is, go ahead and recite me what the statute is. I don't is need to recite the, the statute. statute. I need to tell you your job. What? No, you don't need to. I can I'm flip asking. you off all I want to. Okay. You see that right there? You're driving a vehicle and you're distracted driving by doing that. I was looking at the road. I can do this all day long, sir. Okay. So if you want to tell me what it is. I'll tell you what. I don't have to give you my ID. Okay, I don't have I don't I don't have to give you my ID because this is an unlawful stop. It's not an unlawful 100% stop. unlawful stop. I didn't flip you off all day long. All, right, all day long. So mad. Like well, what did I do to deserve that from you? Just all of y'all deserve that. All of us deserve that. Until I know different. Yep. Like all of us as long. I was kidnapped and held for ransom for two and a half years by cops. So until I, until the I jury of my peers set me free. Okay. So what okay? Do it doesn't matter whether you that. did or not. I will do this all day long if I want to. You're not gonna 100% do right. Well, uh, right now. You want to write me a ticket for it? I can. I don't no, care. no. Write me. I dare you to write me a ticket. License, insurance, registrations on the back. Write me a ticket, mother. See, look at the Write me a gotta... ticket. Write me a ticket. Right. Write me a ticket. The whole I'm waiting. Me a mother can I go in? You cannot get out of car. Okay, don't let's go. Car. Get get Please. this shit over with. Now, now Freedom of speech. You can't be a complaining party in a disorderly conduct. I can't be a you absolutely player. cannot. I can cuss all day in front of you. There's no kids around. There's nobody else. You cannot be a complaining party in the state of Georgia on a disorderly conduct. Okay, Go check the law. About well, you said I changed the stop. Write me a ticket. You did because now you're Write me a ticket. And you're calling me a mother for no reason whatsoever. You stopped me unlawfully. I can flip you off all day long. Okay. There it is again. Like I'm saying to you, like I'm trying to educate you if you give me an opportunity. <laughs> You're the one who needs an education, obviously, Sarge. Okay. So, all right. Then let me know which part I need to educate on so that I can educate myself. Sir. That anybody can flip you off. This is 100% the First Amendment. Okay. As I will sit here and do it with my car running and driving past you as I did. I do it all the time. I do it to state troopers just to see if a mother going to be stupid enough to stop me for it. So there it is. Write me my ticket and let's get this stuff over with. I'm home. Okay. I got fries here. Second, my old lady. Right Thank you. Okay. Write my ticket. All right, sir. So you see, I got a couple of people. It's just for our safety. All right. So look, I'm gonna do as you said. I'm gonna give you the ticket for aggressive driving. Appreciate you. I went ahead and got a Corporal, case number. You gonna let him write me a ticket for flipping him off? My sergeant. Sergeant. Yes. You gonna let me write? He let him write me a ticket for flipping him off. Aggressive driving. Yeah. Aggressive driving. Okay. So that's what I was trying to. Teach it's you. not aggressive driving. We'll, we'll see it in court. Well, I'll see you in court. So I, I don't. I don't need a second. Let me sign the shit okay. and let's go. Right. Let's so get look, this man, shit over with. This is gonna be my copy. I put an X right here for you. If you just go ahead and sign right there. For copy me. that. All right. Now, 
this is not an admission of guilt. Like I said, no shit. So you're, if you want to go to court, the court date's right here. Yeah. The time, date, and address, and everything is right there Copy for you. That. And on the back right here is a website. If you want to view the ticket or whatever, the phone number for the police department's right there. No, okay, no, if no. you have any questions, Oops. you'll see on there in the remarks column. I, I put the actual case number on there. There's a case number on top. The video from our body camera footage will be available. All you have to do is call the police department and talk to them. I need your body camera footage. will be able to help you out. Okay. I need your body camera footage. All right. I flipped you off. All right. I'll say it to your body cam. I flipped them off. All right. So here's what is your insurance card and all. All right, man. You have a good evening. All right. My idea, man. No, you gave it back to me. I got it. Three of y'all, because I flipped somebody off. Three of y'all for this. Three of y'all for this. It took three of y'all? It took three of y'all? I'm not getting myself in trouble. I can stand here all day long and do this. Kick rocks. Emerson, kick rocks. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. The situation emphasizes how crucial it is to know your rights when dealing with the police. You should be aware that you can refuse to show identification if you haven't committed a crime or aren't suspected of one. Although officers can ask for ID in specific situations, understanding your rights and asserting them is important. In the United States, the Fourth Amendment protects people from unreasonable searches and seizures. So for an officer to ask for your ID, they must have a good reason to suspect you of a crime. If you're not a suspect, you're not legally obliged to show your ID. While it's good to cooperate with the police, it's just as important to safeguard yourself from unnecessary intrusion. You can choose to remain silent, especially if you think your rights might be at risk. If an officer questions you, you can use your Fifth Amendment right to stay silent and avoid saying anything that might get you in trouble. It might feel intimidating to stand up for your rights, especially against a police officer or authority figure. But remember, your rights are there to protect you. By asserting them, you not only defend yourself but also make sure that law enforcement is responsible for their actions. If you ever think your rights are being violated, try to stay calm and assertive. Keep in mind that you can say no to showing ID, stay silent, and ask for a search warrant if needed. To sum it up, this incident is a strong reminder of why it's important to know your rights and stand up for them when necessary. As citizens, we have the right to shield ourselves from unfair searches and seizures, and it's crucial to assert these rights when needed. Always remember, your rights are meant to protect you, and it's your responsibility to stand up for them. By doing so, you not only protect yourself, but also ensure that law enforcement is accountable for their actions. Here's the cigarette. You flick your ash out the window. Per this CBC code, you're not supposed to flick your ash out the window. And here's the cigarette, so, but you're putting down that I'm, I put I'm a cigarette on the I highway. I said your cigarette out the window. I'm I said your ash. You better reword that then. No, that's how it is. In, uh, that's how it's written. Here's the cigarette in my cup. You want to explain it to her? Just so you're aware. The ash on your cigarette that you toss out the window has a lighted substance. No, it doesn't. Matter. It's dead. Okay, well, again, that's the argument you want to make in court. You're more than welcome to. You're not guilty by saying this. It's not. I promise to take care of that court. You can make No, he's legal. saying I threw a cigarette on the highway. He's lying. Insane. He's you, lying. You can go to court and dis uh, dispute it there. That's what court's for. If you don't feel that, that you violated that law, you can go ahead and go to court and sign right there, okay? Okay, wait. So you're saying... I did not throw a cigarette on the highway. I'm not saying you threw a cigarette on the highway. I'm saying you flicked your ash on the highway. Which is a lighted substance. Which it is was a not lighted. It was dead. So I threw it in the in the cup. Okay. So go ahead and sign here for me. Like my partner said, it's not an admission of guilt. It's just a promise. You'll take care of the ticket with the courts. Okay. And this is what it says. I'll give you a copy and then you can have your own copy. I just need you to sign here. I didn't throw a lighted substance on the highway. Okay, again. Yes, you did. You no, I didn't. So you if you could sign it, okay. No, I didn't. So, so, ma'am, so this is how it breaks down, okay? So, I'm having you sign the ticket so you can be on your way. I give you a court date with a time, address, and a phone number so you can go to court. And you're going to gonna go to court too, right? I'm going to go to court okay. as well, okay? Okay. But if you don't sign it, then I'm going to have to take you into custody and take you to court today. Court is closed, so you will end up sitting in jail overnight until court opens in the morning. By signing this, allows you to come. How out long of have you been a police day. officer? 18 years. Really? Yes. Okay. okay. So sign here between the red lines. Like I said, it is not an admission of guilt. It is just a promise you'll take care of the. May ticket. I have the copy? Yes. Down here does give you a court date, time, address, and a phone number. All right. Okay. Over here on this side, if you don't want to go to court, there are some other options here on the back. No, I'm going to court. With the court website on the top. There's your driver's license and your registration. Is that still recording? Because I want to say, 
I'm giving you a verbal warning that you need to carry your insurance. I am carrying it. No, you're not carrying it. You need to carry updated insurance. As and citizens, uh, we must be watchful uh, and active in keeping our society yeah, fair cool. and just. All right. Share your thoughts right. about the you officer's actions day. in the you comments, and don't forget Thank to give you. the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos and visit his channel to appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Find the links in the description.